today I'm swapping out the hard drive with this SSD hard drive. This is in HP Mini 210. First thing I want to do is remove the battery. So put everything in unlocked position over here. This is unlocked. This is unlocked. I can pull it out. Now, to pull off the bottom part, there's a little red thing over here that you just push, and then you can pull out. That part was easy. Then there's some information over here, just move the sticker off. This is the hard drive, I believe. So I just need to move this screw, this screw, and this screw. Hopefully it'll be easy, it's not too tight. See how easy this is. This screw. Finally, this screw. This HP Mini on a this two and a half hard drive is really slow. Should have done that. Might have pulled the cable too much. Then you can pull this. Connector out. A little closer. Be careful. Here's the cable over here. That's it. I have to unscrew this to put this into there. Make sure you have the ports lined up well. So I need to move off the screws on the side, this guide, and I'll put it in. Don't really need to record that, but I guess I will. I'll fast forward over this part. These screws are a little tight. I hate it when they do it like that. It makes changing a little tougher. Okay. Again, I do it like this. Put out the hard drive. Put in the new hard drive. Start screwing everything back together. I've already cloned this uh, hard drive using Macrium Free Edition. It was nice enough for them to offer that service available for the Free Edition. Most of the online software, most of the applications available, requires you to pay. So thanks, Macrium. Almost done. So it went on like this. Let's see, it goes over here, over here. I need to put this back on, so just be careful. Pull this up so you can see. There you go. Put it back. Now I just need to screw it back on.
last screw. Put this tape back on. So putting this on. Snap it on. Make sure everything's lined up. That's done. Put the battery back on. And we're good to go. Old hard drive. SSD inside. Let's power up this baby. Hopefully it works. Power button's on the side over here. Boot it up. That's good. This is a hundred times faster than this old hard drive. I'm using hyperbole. That's it. Swap the hard drive. I use Macrium Free Edition to clone my internal hard drive. I just replaced the hard drive, swapped it out, put it, put it in, and now it's powering up. And everything looks fine. That wasn't a bad process. Um, so I would uh, definitely uh, say that you can use Macrium Free Edition as well as the other editions to copy a Windows 7 machine. Especially this HP Mini 210. It works just fine. It does the trim stuff that you need for SSD. So thanks a lot, Macrium. That's it. You see it's installing some SSD drivers probably, but now it's running a lot faster than before. Let's see how long it takes to open Chrome. But literally it would take minutes to do anything still takes quite a while because it only has two gigabytes of RAM, but it's a lot better now. I'm happy. Thanks, Macrium.